Reverend Insanity. Chapter 976, Familiar Face. Lang Yalan's spirit looked straight into Fang Yuan's eyes, unsure of what to say. These immortal materials were Fang Yuan's. He was so anxious that he almost scratched his own head. Fang Yuan looked at Lang Yalan's spirit with a smile. Not matter how bad Lang Yalan's spirit's attitude towards him was, as long as these immortal materials were with him, he seemed to have taken hold of Lang Yalan's spirit's weakness. Suddenly, Lang Yalan's spirit's eyes turned, and he quickly reacted. He was no longer anxious, instead sneering, HMPH, brat, do I still not know you? You swindler, you don't do anything without benefits. Speak, what advantage you want to take from me? Fang Yuan pretended to be unhappy. Your words are really wrong. I didn't come to take advantage of you, but to do a fair transaction with you. He he. Lang Yalan's spirit was already somewhat prepared for Fang Yuan's shamelessness. Speak up, don't talk in a roundabout way. Fang Yuan drooped his eyelids, staring at the immortal materials in his hands. Since you are so forthright, then I will speak directly. Can I ask if you have the immortal killer move familiar face? Lang Yalan's spirit was stunned before asking back, How did you know I have thieving heaven demon venerable's signature killer move? Fang Yuan was inwardly joyous. Lang Yalan's spirit indeed had it. He had only made a guess about this. Thinking of the past, Lang Yalan's spirit lacked a desolate beast and wanted Fang Yuan to grab a living one. Using the mortal killer move unfamiliar face as a reward to tempt Fang Yuan. Back then, when they had been discussing, Fang Yuan had asked about familiar face and Lang Yalan spirit's original words were, Familiar face? You are really daring. That is an immortal killer move. The core goo is the legendary attitude goo. Even if I give it to you, you will not be able to use it. But this killer move of mine has a huge relationship with familiar face. It can be said to be the former version of it. This is a mortal killer move and is suitable for you to use. Land spirits were simple and would not tell lies. Lang Ya Land spirit had not said that he did not have familiar face. He had only said that even if he gave it to Fang Yuan, Fang Yuan would not be able to use it. But Fang Yuan now already had attitude goo with him. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable had deceived two rank 8 Gu Immortals with his rank 6 cultivation in his time. Fang Yuan should also be able to do it. Looking back over that time, Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable sought out my main body to refine space escape Gu. My main body also had been interested and worked an entire 21 years with Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable. This duration was according to the time of the five regions. When calculated with Lang Ya Grotto Heaven's time, it would be even longer. Lang Ya Lan spirit recalled those eventful years with a nostalgic expression. He paused for a moment before continuing. In these 21 years, my main body and Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable made many attempts, but they all failed. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable's accumulated savings were spent, and even my main body's treasury was used. My main body naturally would not accept making a loss. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable had to bring out his resources to buy immortal materials from my main body. Unfamiliar face, vaguely familiar face and familiar face, this set of killer moves was one of them. So it was like that. Fang Yuan nodded, engraving this information in his mind. Lang Ye Blessed Land indeed had deep foundations, actually having thieving heaven demon venerable's possessions. A person's wealth is their own ruin. No wonder shadow sect targeted them, and even heavenly court also attacked. Fang Yuan had also been eyeing this land of treasures, but his strength was simply not enough, and rashly attacking would only cause trouble for himself. Brat, what do you want familiar face for? Haha, <laughs> did you experience the benefits of unfamiliar face? My things are all of top quality. But unfamiliar face is only a mortal killer move. It indeed is not suitable for your current cultivation. Lang Yalan's spirit laughed. Fang Yuan spoke frankly. I want to exchange a rank 8 immortal material for familiar face. Lang Yalan's spirit had still been laughing. 
but the next moment his laughter turned into anger. Brat, you really think I am stupid? You want to use a rank 8 immortal material to buy thieving heaven demon venerable's signature killer move? Keep on dreaming. Fang Yuan did not mind it, and asked with a warm attitude, Then what's your price? 10 rank 8 immortal materials. This time, it was Fang Yuan's turn to change his expression. Impossible. How could I have so many in my hands? Do you really think I picked them up? He cried out in seeming seriousness, lying brazenly. Lang Yilan's spirit was in the dark. He sheepishly smiled. Then eight? Fang Yuan's eyes were wide open as he shouted, Eight? You are robbing me. Back then, you told me yourself that familiar face's core immortal goo is attitude goo. Without attitude goo, familiar face simply cannot be used. I am only trying to use it as reference, to make my own deductions and create an immortal killer move suitable for myself. You think I will use eight whole immortal materials in exchange for merely familiar face? Fang Yuan's saliva flew out as he shouted, landing on Lang Ya Land Spirit's face. Lang Ya Land Spirit looked embarrassed, retreating a few steps. He had been tricked many times by Fang Yuan and had learned to bargain. But clearly, his experience was still not enough, and he was stumped by a few words from Fang Yun. In the end, Lang Ya Lan spirit's existence was only an obsession formed by heavenly power. They were extremely simple. Lang Ya Lan spirit being able to reach this stage was already extraordinary. Fang Yuan continued to lower the price loudly with ragged breathing. According to him, familiar face had already been degraded in value to being of no worth whatsoever, while the rank 8 immortal material's rarity and value were emphasized and enhanced countless times. Lang Ya Lan spirit was unable to hold his own and kept taking steps back in defeat. In Fang Yuan's previous life of 500 years, he had worked as a merchant. He ran a merchant caravan and built stores, earning a huge fortune but in the end it was destroyed in just one day, breaking his habitual thought processes from Earth, and he comprehended the logic that this world was different from Earth. It was a world where the fist was strongest. Fang Yuan finally reduced the price to five immortal materials. This was the limit. If he tried to reduce it any further, Lang Ya Lan spirit would not sell familiar face. Land spirits were simple but stubborn. However, Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable's signature move was indeed worth this much at the minimum. Lang Yilan spirit would not make a loss, he had calculated internally. At most he could say he had sold it at base price. Fang Yuan knew he could not change the outcome, immediately paying five immortal materials and getting possession of familiar face. Success. The joy Fang Yuan felt was hard to describe. Although he could use the light of wisdom, it would be extremely difficult to deduce familiar face. His wisdom path attainment was grandmaster level, but his transformation path attainment was merely at master level, and the familiar series were transformation path killer moves. Even if I could deduce it, it won't be the same. But now what I have is the original familiar face, which contains its full contents without any flaws. Fang Yuan had no mood to keep staying and left immediately. He returned to Hu Immortal Blessed Land and started to carefully study the Immortal Killer move. There was only one core of familiar face, that was the rank 8 Attitude Goo. This move fully utilized the might of Attitude Goo. One could say Attitude Goo was the essence of this move, and without it, no matter which other Immortal Goo was added, it would be hard to display the profound capability of familiar face. Besides Attitude Goo, Familiar Face had over 20 supplementary Goo. Among them were two Immortal Goo, including Change Form Immortal Goo. Fang Yuan had failed in refining Change Form, while he did not even have the Immortal Goo recipe of the second Immortal Goo. This was the only blemish in this otherwise perfect matter. It seems that in the past, when Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable was at rank 6, he possessed these two supplementary immortal goo. Shortly afterwards, Fang Yuan entered the underground cavern and used the light of wisdom, 
continuously consuming large amounts of star thoughts as he began modifying the immortal killer move familiar face. Several days later, he succeeded. The two supplementary immortal goo were removed, about a thousand mortal goo were added in, barely replacing the effect of the two immortal goo. With this, the activation of Fang Yuan's modified familiar face was over ten times slower and more complicated. The original familiar face only had over twenty goo worms, even including attitude goo, it did not reach thirty. The fewer the goo worms, the simpler and faster the process of activation. After Fang Yuan's modification, the number of goo worms was over a thousand. Their activation naturally was not as fast and convenient as the original. This was something he had no other way to deal with. Fang Yuan tried activating the modified familiar face. The result of the test made him quite satisfied. The modified familiar face could show 60% of the original's capability. The two supplementary immortal goo had been replaced with a thousand mortal goo. Being able to reach this point was already extremely exceptional. It was just that the activation was very slow and required about an hour. This was not of much importance, after all, familiar face was not used for battle. In my previous life, I refined change form immortal goo and used it as the core to form the modified vaguely familiar face. Now, I have this modified familiar face where the effect is over a hundred times better. I can completely deceive rank 7 goo immortals, while the specific situation needs to be assessed for rank 8 goo immortals. Fang Yuan inwardly calculated. The killer move familiar face was exquisite beyond compare, especially the attitude goo at its core, causing Fang Yuan's transformation to not be a transformation of surface appearance, but directly affecting others' minds. Even if Fang Yuan transformed into a stranger, if the enemy was affected by this move, they would feel Fang Yuan was a long-lost friend, or have a warm impression, or feel intense familiarity. After gaining familiar face, Fang Yuan spent some time to practice every day. Although Attitude Gu was at rank 8, its requirements for activation were very low, only using up mental energy, not using up any immortal essence. Thus, Fang Yuan's practice did not cost much. As he became more accustomed, the time taken to activate familiar face reduced to half of the original one hour. The preparations are done. Now, I will have to wait for Tai Bai Yun Sheng's tribulation. Fang Yuan settled down, staying in Hu Immortal Blessed Land and occasionally traveling back and forth from that small village which had the Spring Dream Fruit Tree. He continuously refined Dream Path Mortal Goo and used these goo to pick up large numbers of spring dream fruits. As time passed, his injuries gradually turned better, and finally it was the day of Tai Bai Yun Sheng's tribulation. Chapter 977 Slavery Immortal Goo In a green heaven fragment world within western desert, the sky was green, the wind that would not stop in all four seasons was blowing gently. A pure white and vast city was stably floating in the air, letting out faint golden radiance. At present, humans were the rulers of the world. The variant human races, who once were dominant, were already hiding in corners of the world, surviving with difficulty. And this green heaven fragment world was the paradise for a group of one of the races of variant humans, the Feathermen. Immortal Gu House Sacred Feather City was the strongest headquarters of these Feathermen descendants. Right now, rainbow flags were hanging in Sacred Feather City. Cheers and shouts could be heard everywhere. All the Feathermen were calling the same name. Yu Fei. Yu Fei. Yu Fei. The Feathermen King had passed away. According to their customs, it was time to select the new Feathermen King through battles. And just a while ago, the battle had concluded. The most popular candidate, the Featherman Prince Dan Yu, had actually lost. While the ordinary citizen, the black-haired youngster Yu Fei, had obtained the final victory. I, Yu Fei, have finally realized my life's dream. I have become the Featherman King. Yu Fei was severely injured, but it did not bother him, as he raised his head and laughed heartily. 
he stretched his arms as well as his wings, enjoying everyone's cheers. He grinned from ear to ear, and his mouth was opened wide, revealing his gums. This new Featherman King is quite unique. He is quite different from the other kings. Heh <laughs> heh, he is an interesting fellow. It seems that he has quite the ambition. He wants to expand the territory of us Feathermen. But after he becomes the Featherman King, he should become more mature. Behind the scenes, three Featherman Goo Immortals were communicating with each other, wearing smiles on their faces. But right at this moment, a powerful attack suddenly hit this peaceful city. Boom. The enormous explosion shook the entirety of Sacred Feather City. Painful, painful, painful. Yufei was caught off guard. He lost his balance and crashed onto the ground, rolling around in the process. Quickly look. This, this is? The Feathermen at the front saw something amiss. They pointed at the sky and stammered in fear. They could not speak. Immediately after, most of the Feathermen raised their heads. They were shocked to find out that above them, in the green sky, there was a huge crack. From the crack, several figures descended like demonic gods. The three Feathermen Goo Immortals in Sacred Feather City had already reacted. They were startled to awareness as they flew towards the sky. They appeared to face the invading enemies while shouting to their Feathermen citizens. Be careful, there is a strong enemy attacking. Quick, sound the alarms, defend our homeland. Goo Masters assemble, go to the Formation Corps and activate the defenses of Sacred Feather City. The entire city was in chaos, fear was spreading. Sacred Feather City had been peaceful for too long. They had no competition with the outside world, it was like life inside a utopia. This caused their defenses to be very lax, and with the crowning of a new king, the non-militarized Feathermen could not respond properly. The enemy had come in with such momentum. The three Feathermen Goo Immortals were grim-faced, but they held a hope as they tried to negotiate peacefully. But the command from the enemy's leader, White Sea Shachuo, destroyed the three Feathermen Goo Immortals' hopes. This old Goo Immortal's eyes were extremely apathetic, as he commanded, Attack! The three Feathermen Goo Immortals were no match for them, and could only retreat to the Immortal Goo House Sacred Feather City and defend. Sacred Feather City was besieged from all directions by the Western Desert's Immortals. Battlefield killer moves followed one after the other as they covered the whole area. Countless mortal killer moves and immortal killer moves impacted the Immortal Goo House, creating grand fireworks. White Sea Shachuo had clearly come prepared as his methods immobilized Sacred Feather City. Sacred Feather City seemed like it had sunk into a mire, it would be difficult for it to get free in a short period of time. The Feathermen had lived in peace for very long time and now they were suddenly thrusted into a life and death battle. They were not able to cope in time. The three immortals were also the same, thus losing the best chance to escape. Two days later. Boom. A bolt of lightning shot out and struck a section of the wall of Sacred Feather City. The city wall immediately crumbled and shortly dispersed into countless goo-worm fragments. None of the Featherman Goo Masters defending the city wall were able to escape. Their dead bodies covered the ground. Dust clouds rose, from within, a slight trace of green light suddenly flashed. Damn it! The battle had already lasted for two days and two days. The Featherman Goo Immortal Zhu Zhang's eyes were bloodshot. He saw the destroyed city wall. Their defense had a flaw now. Thus, he immediately flew to guard it. Immortal goo houses were essentially formed from countless goo worms. This destroyed city wall meant all the goo worms in it had died, and it was like a hole had been opened in the immortal goo house. This was like a boat with holes. Its defense had reduced by a large extent. If the enemies pierced through it and took the chance to enlarge this hole, the whole immortal goo house could be destroyed in the end. Right now, although the hole was small, it absolutely could not be ignored and allowed to be enlarged. Zhu Zhang quickly hurried to block the hole, buying crucial time for the immortal goo house's self-recovery. However, just when Zhu Zhang had arrived, he heard a sinister laugh. Hehe, <laughs> you have fallen into the trap. 
Suddenly, two figures appeared at his sides, flanking him in the middle. The portion of the sacred feather city that had collapsed had already formed a gap which allowed the two Gu immortals to enter. Scoundrels, Zhu Zhang was extremely furious and panicked as he counterattacked. But he had lost the initiative, and after several rounds, he was severely injured and on the verge of death. Bind, from outside the city, a western desert Gu immortal got close and suddenly activated his immortal killer move. Instantly, Zhu Zhang could not budge an inch like he was bound all over. The two Gu immortals beside him laughed sinisterly as they struck Zhu Zhang's chest. Zhu Zhang spat out huge amounts of blood and was sent flying back like a cannon, crashing through countless constructions on the way before finally laying down motionless on a pile of rubble. His body shook slightly as he struggled with all his strength. However, the killer move's effect was still there, making him unable to move. Those two Gu immortals came rushing over, Zhu Zhang could not help but feel despair. Zhu Zhang, hold on, I am coming. At the crucial moment, a stalwart figure stood in front of Zhu Zhang. The strongest expert in the Featherman City, first supreme elder. Even by collaborating, the two western desert Gu immortals were unable to match the first supreme elder's strength. This supreme elder's cultivation level was almost at the peak of rank 7. Right now, as he attacked in anger, his might burst out. It was overwhelming. The two western desert's Gu immortals were unable to attack back and were soon injured heavily. They quickly retreated back to the hole. The final featherman Gu immortal, Zheng Ling, was controlling the immortal Gu house to quickly repair the hole as quickly as possible. The hole was already 80% restored and was getting increasingly smaller. The two western desert Gu immortals hurried to the hole in the immortal Gu house, but were unable to escape they would have to stay and enlarge the hole slightly. However, at this critical juncture, every second was extremely important. The Western Desert Gu Immortals simply did not have the time to attack the hole. Zhang Ling, great work! The Featherman First Supreme Elder was joyous. Right now, the Immortal Gu House was continuously being repaired, and the situation had already become such that the enemies were trapped inside, waiting to be attacked. Once they kill these two Western Desert Gu Immortals, the Featherman tribe's morale would surely be uplifted greatly. The enemies would be shaken, and no one would dare to rashly charge into the Immortal Gu House anymore. But right as the Featherman First Supreme Elder was about to kill the two Western Desert Gu Immortals, a shocking change occurred. The two Western Desert Gu Immortals no longer had panicked expressions, instead replaced by a smile, as if they had a plot which succeeded. At the same time, four Western Desert Gu Immortals appeared beside the Featherman First Supreme Elder. Our true target is you, you will die. The leading Gu Immortal was actually White Sea Shachuo. At this moment, his aura erupted and surged, and overwhelming might burst out, revealing rank 8 cultivation level. The Featherman First Supreme Elder paled in fear. The moment of carelessness had sent him into a dangerous situation. Damn it! The rank 7 Featherman Gu Immortal Zheng Ling, who was controlling the Immortal Gu House, was extremely anxious, activating the Immortal Gu House quickly. Both sides were focused in this peripheral area of the Immortal Gu House, this crucial battlefield. Old Ancestor, are you all right? Yu Fei shouted as he moved towards the Featherman Gu Immortal Zhu Zhang who was lying on the ground motionlessly. Zhu Zhang was struck by the immortal killer move and its effect had yet to dissipate. Thus, he was still unable to move from the rubble. The newly crowned Featherman King, Zhu Zhang sighed as he looked at Yufei. He transmitted his voice, Leave quickly, the battle here is not something you can participate in. But Yufei ignored it, flying towards Zhu Zhang's side and activating mortal Gu. Old ancestor, I will save you. Zhu Zhang appreciated Yu Fei's bravery, feeling moved, but also helplessness. There were countless injuries on his body, all inflicted by immortal killer moves. The injuries were filled with Tao marks. How could they be healed by ordinary mortal goo? Huh? 
But the next moment, Zhu Zhang's eyes protruded out as he stared at Yu Fei. You are not Yu Fei, you, Zhu Zhang tried to cry out furiously, wanting to resist, but he could not budge. Before he could even alarm others, Fang Yuan had sealed his voice. The moment when there was a gap in the immortal Gu House, Fang Yuan had used fixed immortal travel to travel here from northern plains. The immortal Gu House's control near the hole had fallen to almost nil. Fang Yuan was thus not detected by anyone. He then waited for a chance, and taking advantage of when the two sides were in an intense battle, with their attention focused on the key battlefield, he immediately made a move, disguising himself as Yu Fei, and was able to smoothly approach Zhu Zhang. Right now, he was silently activating slavery immortal Gu. Zhu Zhang resisted intensely, his resistance kept on increasing. But after a while, all his resistance suddenly disappeared as he was turned into Fang Yuan's slave. In an instant, he turned to Fang Yuan's side. I finally succeeded. Fang Yuan was completely exhausted. Shortly after, he gave a command to Zhu Zhang, go replace Zhang Ling to take control of the entirety of Sacred Feather City. Yes, master. Zhu Zhang moved his heavily injured body, flying towards the center of Sacred Feather City. Elder Zheng Ling, go reinforce First Supreme Elder. I will control the immortal Gu House, Zhu Zhang called out. Zheng Ling was joyous. The Featherman First Supreme Elder's situation was already extremely bad. Although he was controlling the immortal Gu House, the entirety of Sacred Feather City was already immobilized by the enemy. As such, it was not able to display its true power. Instead of using Sacred Feather City's power, it was better for him to go in person to reinforce the first Supreme Elder. Are your injuries okay? Zhang Ling was about to move, but hesitated. Quickly go. At this point, even if I die, I will guard the immortal Gu House. Zhu Zhang shouted, his whole body bathed in blood. All right, I am leaving. Hang in there, Zhang Ling nodded, and turned into a bolt of lightning as he left. Chapter 978, Subduing the Featherman Bam bam bam. Continuous explosions resounded like thunder. Every explosion shook the whole of Sacred Feather City. Fang Yuan was standing within ruins, hiding inside the rolling dust and dirt as the entirety of Sacred Feather City shook. Enslaving a Gu immortal is indeed countless times more difficult than enslaving beast groups. Fang Yuan felt the pressure on his soul. Enslaving other life forms created a burden on the Gu Master. Back in Northern Plains, during the contest for the Imperial Court, Fang Yuan had commanded tens of thousands of beasts, but it was not that he had enslaved all of them. Rather, through enslaving myriad beast kings, thousand beast kings and hundred beast kings, he had been indirectly controlling the whole beast army. Man is the spirit of all living beings, beasts did not have much intelligence, so Fang Yuan was able to enslave a lot of them. However, Zhu Zhong was completely different. Zhu Zhong had deep wisdom and intelligence, although enslaving him did not fail, it created an extremely huge burden on Fang Yuan's soul. After all, Zhu Zhong was a Gu immortal. Rank 6 Slavery Immortal Gu could only enslave a Rank 6 Gu Immortal. It is also because Zhu Zhang is a Featherman and not a human. His intelligence is inferior just by a bit. If I were to enslave a Human Gu Immortal, I might have failed. I had cultivated Soul Path previously and have some foundation in regards to my soul. But this is only at the limits of mortal levels, and my foundation in it as a Gu Immortal is quite shallow. By enslaving Zhu Zhang, my soul has become heavily burdened. If my soul was like an energetic youth before, now I have turned into an old man with a heavy load on my back. With such a sharp reduction in strength, it would be good if I can display 20% of my ability. Fang Yuan sighed inwardly. All the paths of Gu were broad and profound. So too was enslavement path. At Gu Immortal level, there were extraordinary abilities that laymen could not grasp. Simply put, Fang Yuan was a layman in enslavement path. 
he did not know of any enslavement path immortal killer moves. If he had, then in combination with slavery immortal goo, his current situation might have been much better. He was only able to use the slavery immortal goo superficially. But with his previous lives experiences, along with the help of the light of wisdom to deduce the plans, he was able to achieve a huge success. Master, I have received control over Sacred Feather City. Zheng Ling has already moved towards the battle to support the first Supreme Elder. Zhu Zhang's voice suddenly resounded in Fang Yuan's ears. Fang Yuan excitedly licked his lips, clenching his fists subconsciously. He sent a command, first, kill the real Yu Fei. He now had Yu Fei's appearance, the real Yu Fei was his greatest flaw. Shortly afterwards, Zhu Zhang's voice arrived again, Yu Fei is dead, turned into ashes. At present, Zhu Zhang was the only one controlling Sacred Feather City alone. As such, this was accomplished easily. Good, do all you can to control the immortal Gu House and get away from the battle, Fang Yuan sent another command. This time, it took a good while before Zhu Zhang's weak voice arrived. Forgive me, Master, I was not able to do it. The whole immortal Gu House is already locked in place by the enemies. Fang Yuan snorted, a ferocious light flashing in his eyes. So it is still like this. He did not feel much disappointment. In his previous life, he had laid a trap which caused all the Feathermen to suicide, and he was only able to obtain Feathermen Gu Immortal Zheng Ling's soul. Zheng Ling had personally participated in the battle to defend Sacred Feather City, and not much time had passed, thus his memories were extremely clear. His soul was not like Zhu Song's eyes, which had been tampered with by a soul path expert. Fang Yuan could easily search his soul and obtain all his memories. It was these memories that let Fang Yuan feel like he had personally experienced the battle to defend Sacred Feather City. Thus, his timing was so precise, he could infiltrate the immortal Gu House and take the opportunity when the two sides were in an intense battle to successfully enslave Gu Immortal Zhu Zhang. There were a lot of opportunities like this, but the best one was this. Zhu Zhang just happened to be restricted by an immortal killer move and was not able to budge, providing huge convenience to Fang Yuan. From Zhang Ling's soul, Fang Yuan also knew this immortal Gu House, Sacred Feather City, was locked down by the enemies and was unable to be moved. However, a person like Fang Yuan would absolutely not be reconciled to this, they would personally attempt it. The attempt indeed failed and he was unable to steal this Sacred Feather City. Fang Yuan could only choose the second best option, observing from the sidelines and letting the events continue to develop. Similarly to his previous life, Zhu Zhang carried his heavily injured body and controlled the immortal Gu House with difficulty, freeing Zheng Ling from the duty. Zheng Ling hurried to reinforce the first Supreme Elder and had a huge fight with White Sea Shatuo and the rest. This huge fight was the most crucial fight of the battle to defend Sacred Feather City. The outcome of the fight was the same as Fang Yuan's previous life. White Sea Shatuo and the rest were beaten back and escaped through the gap in the wall. The first Supreme Elder was heavily injured and was on the verge of death after being targeted by the combined strength of the Western Desert Gu Immortals. As for Zhang Ling, his situation was slightly better. The battle ended, the Immortal Gu House was restored and there was no gaps anymore, its defense becoming perfect. However, the Featherman First Supreme Elder's injuries could not be healed, and he died within the city. After losing their greatest battle strength, the two Featherman Goo Immortals held on for a night, and seeing that nothing could be done, they resolutely decided to give up on the Immortal Goo House and leave this place. All the Feathermen gathered together and activated the Immortal Killer Move Heavenly Wish. I wish my clan's Feathermen survive. I wish my clan's Feathermen gain freedom. I wish my clan's Feathermen have a place to live in the world. The Western Desert Goo Immortals observed from the sidelines, letting the Feathermen leave. Once the Feathermen left, they could obtain the entire Immortal Goo House Sacred Feather City. 
It was the first time Fang Yuan experienced this heavenly wish. He felt a majestic and powerful white light engulfing him along with the rest of the Feathermen and transporting them through a white tunnel. He felt he was like a piece of wood dropped into a rapid whirlpool as he was sent revolving round and round. After about five minutes, the surrounding white light suddenly disappeared and Fang Yuan found his footing once again. He was feeling extremely dizzy and almost fell to the ground. The surrounding mortal Feathermen were already sprawled on the ground. Only the two Feathermen Gu Immortals, Zheng Ling and Zhu Zhang, were vigilantly standing. Fang Yuan inwardly shook his head at this. It seems that after enslaving Zhu Zhang, my own battle strength is not worth any expectations. Where is this place? The Feathermen Gu Immortal Zhu Zhang scanned his surroundings. Zheng Ling's expression changed rapidly. Not good. This is a human Gu Immortal's blessed land. We were treated as an earthly calamity and transported here. With Tai Bai Yun Sheng at the lead, Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan slowly flew towards the Feathermen. In his previous life, Fang Yuan helped Tai Bai Yun Sheng to pass the tribulation and did not invite them. But this life, Fang Yuan wanted to use this earthly calamity to intimidate them, so he invited them to help. Tai Bai Yun Sheng was expressionless, feeling both shocked and joyous internally. Fang Yuan looked for me to tell me he could deduce this calamity and told me what to do. I did not dare to believe him then, but now it seems everything is just like what he said. I can definitely pass this earthly calamity. Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan were both inwardly shocked. Having a Featherman calamity was rare and peculiar. But Fang Yuan had actually accurately predicted it. What did this mean? One of the reasons it was difficult to pass heavenly tribulations and earthly calamities was that they could not be predicted. Fang Yuan now had this ability, which was simply like a divine weapon to pass tribulations. As long as they made specific preparations before the tribulation, the probability of successfully passing the tribulation would be raised by a terrifying degree. The Featherman Gu immortal Zhang Ling's heart sank to rock bottom. In his previous life, when he had seen Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng, he had a feeling of contempt. But now, the Rank 7 Fairy Lai Shan, Hai Lu Lan with the great strength True Martial Physique and Tai Bai Yun Sheng arrived together, especially the unconcealed aura of Immortal Gu on them. They involuntarily brought huge mental pressure on Zheng Ling. There was nothing much to say after that. With Tai Bai Yun Sheng displaying the ability of landscape as before Immortal Gu, the Featherman Gu Immortal's threat towards Tai Bai Yun Sheng's immortal aperture had become non-existent. In his previous life, just with Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng, these Feathermen had been duped over and over. This time, not only was there Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan, Zhu Zhang and Yu Fei were also hidden traitors. After a duel, Zhang Ling was once again killed, but Tai Bai Yun Sheng and the others did not force the remaining Feathermen. This was a mistake Fang Yuan had made last time. This time, he would not make it again. These Feathermen were different from those Feathermen sold in the markets. They lived in the immemorial green heaven fragment world, living on for generations in isolation from the rest of the world. They had the nature of the ancient Feathermen, they would rather suicide than lose their freedom. Thus, Tai Bai Yun Sheng did not restrict them, instead negotiating with them deceptively. Under the lead of Zhu Zhang and Yu Fei, the Feathermen moved to star form Blessed Land. With these Feathermen, Fang Yuan's development in Western Desert could reach a new stage, and his prospects were bright. This was not his only harvest. After the event, Hai Lu Lan indirectly asked him regarding the prediction of the calamity. Fang Yuan intentionally gave a bitter smile, asking back, You think I have such an ability? Don't forget, Purple Mountain True Monarch is my master. At the same time, Tai Bai Yun Sheng is also his disciple. Hai Lu Lan thought, So it was indeed like this. This ability is too powerful. It is not something Fang Yuan can possess. So it was Purple Mountain True Monarch. Unconsciously, 
Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan's apprehension towards Purple Mountain True Monarch deepened further. Fang Yuan was able to deal a heavy blow to them. This would be greatly beneficial to him in restricting Blazing Heaven Demoness in the future. It was only that after he enslaved Zhu Zhong, his soul's burden had become very heavy, and there was much difficulty in even refining Dream Path Mortal Gu. This intensified Fang Yuan's desire towards Luo Po Valley. Luo Po Valley and Dang Han Mountain. If he had both of them, then even if he was a layman in soul path, the foundation of his soul would increase rapidly. However, right now, it was still not the time to go to Luo Po Valley. In his previous life, Hai Cheng's soul had ended up in Hai Lu Lan's hands. Much of the information obtained through soul searching had been shared with Fang Yuan as well. Fang Yuan knew that currently, Luo Po Valley had been remodeled into a secret stronghold by Shadow Sect, with large numbers of Gu formations arranged everywhere. Even in his previous life, when Feng Jiuji and the other central continent Gu immortals had attacked Luo Po Valley when no one was around, these Gu formations were able to hold them off until Qin Bai Sheng and the rest arrived. Right now, Luo Po Valley was filled with shadow sex members. It was much more terrifying than a dragon's den. Fang Yuan needed to wait for the appropriate time. Chapter 979, Going with the Flow Fang Yuan had a lot of patience. After helping Tai Bai Yun Sheng pass the tribulation, Fang Yuan refined Dream Path Mortal Gu while collecting the Spring Dream Fruits, along with expanding his Guts Gu and Eerie Fire Dragon Python trades. Soon, his monthly profits greatly exceeded his previous life. It was over 2,000. There were many reasons for this. Firstly, Fang Yuan had to spend a lot of time in investigating and gathering information before deciding on suitable trade partners in his previous life, especially in Western Desert. But now, with his experience, Fang Yuan could easily contact the buyer and save a lot of time and effort, causing his profits to come much earlier than before. Secondly, the hairy men in the Fang Yuan stone nests were now free to refine Guts Gu. This was different from last time, when they were still refining Star Thought Goo and other goo worms that did not provide income. Thirdly, Fang Yuan did not have any plans to relocate Star Form Blessed Land. He had already made a new alliance agreement with Hai Lu Lan and the others. He might need to relocate it in the future, but it was not an urgent matter now. Fourthly, with the Feathermen forming caravans and dealing with transactions for him, Fang Yuan obtained much benefits in Western Desert quickly. The use of the Feathermen was starting to show. But Fang Yuan was still experimenting for now. He did not send out all of these tens of thousands of Feathermen. In this aspect, he had a long-term plan. He wanted to use these current Feathermen to increase the population of Feathermen. He might be able to implement slave trade of Feathermen in the future. In terms of slave trade, even though Feathermen were inferior to Hairy Men, they were much better than Rockmen. Especially in Western Desert Forces, they sacrificed a large number of Feathermen yearly. The demand for Feathermen slaves was always high and unceasing. Fang Yuan developed patiently, while he accumulated Immortal Essence Stones, he did not forget to accumulate Gu Refinement Immortal Materials. Time passed quickly, Langya Blessed Land was attacked by strong foes once again. Langya Land Spirit knew that the enemy was powerful. He had to seek help, sending emergency support letters to Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng. In this life, Fang Yuan had planned meticulously. Tai Bai Yun Sheng's immortal aperture did not suffer much losses. After receiving the letters, the two of them went to Langya Blessed Land. In Langya Blessed Land, there was a thick fog of clouds that shrouded everyone's vision. They could not see anything, not the sky, the ground, or even their own fingers. This is the 12 wave cloud confusion formation. Langya Land Spirit explained in a deep and low tone, and these are the invaders. The Land Spirit waved his sleeves as several images appeared in front of Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng. Kin Bai Sheng, Zhang Yu, Hai Cheng, Zhu Song Zai, He Lang Zai, and Huey Feng Zai. 
as well as the blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie, they were all present. It's them, Fang Yuan pretended to be surprised. You recognize these people? Lang Yaland's spirit quickly asked. Fang Yuan nodded with a serious expression. These people are extremely strong. The leader, Qin Bai Sheng, might only have rank 7 cultivation level, but he can fight with a rank 8 Gu Immortal. Lang Yaland's spirit was shocked. So powerful. Fang Yuan pointed at the others. This is Fairy Zhang Yu. She has Dark Limit Immortal Gu. This is the supreme elder handling public affairs of a super force in Northern Plains, High Tribes Hai Cheng. He has an immortal Gu house in his possession. There is also Zhu Song Zai. He might be only rank 6, but he is a member of Snowy Mountain Blessed Land. He is backed by the rank 8 old ancestor Zhu Hu. And this he Lang Zai. He is a transformation path Gu immortal with high battle strength in the past. He rejected a recruitment offer by old ancestor Zhu Hu. This is Huey Feng Zai, a wind path expert. His wind path attainment level is very deep. He is the publicly recognized fastest person in Northern Plains Gu Immortal world. He had once escaped from many rank 8 Gu Immortals. As Fang Yuan spoke, Lang Yalan's spirit's expression turned grimmer and grimmer. When Fang Yuan finished his words, Lang Yalan's spirit's expression was extremely grave. He pointed at the mysterious black-robed Gu Immortal. To think that the enemies are so powerful. Then who in the world is this Gu Immortal? Fang Yuan knew who he was, of course, but at this moment, he pretended to show a confused and suspicious expression. He hesitated before saying, this person is covering his face and has an immortal killer move protecting him. He is very mysterious. Let me make a deduction. Saying so, he pinched his fingers and deduced. His body was covered in starlight as immortal goo aura surged around him, as if he was working hard. Seeing this, Lang Yalan's spirit was deceived. He thought, even though I had approached Fang Yuan many times in the past and asked him to deduce immortal goo recipes for me, this is the first time I am seeing him make a deduction. I do not know what immortal goo he is using, but looking at this, his wisdom path attainment level is not low. The starlight on Fang Yuan's body faded gradually. His expression was grim as his eyes shined brightly. My goodness, this mysterious goo immortal is extremely special. He is an immortal zombie, and one of the ten extreme physiques, blazing glory lightning brilliance physique. You deduced it so quickly? Lang Yalan's spirit was surprised. Beside him, Tai Bai Yun Sheng chuckled. That is only natural. Fang Yuan is a Wisdom Path Grandmaster. Wisdom Path Grandmaster? Lang Yalan's spirit was shocked. He assessed Fang Yuan again, looking at him in a different light. Fang Yuan's expression was calm. His voice was heavy as he spoke to Lang Yalan's spirit. The enemy is so powerful. We are in danger now. Lang Yalan's spirit chuckled. No need to worry. As long as we persevere for a period of time, I can capture any Gu immortal no matter how strong they are. Oh, Fang Yuan's eyebrows rose. He probed Lang Yalan's spirit while pretending to be curious. It seems you still have additional assistance. Lang Yalan's spirit smiled with a smug expression. He did not want to say much. But he changed his mind suddenly and probed Fang Yuan instead. You are a wisdom path grandmaster at such a young age? Honestly speaking, I am quite surprised. Why don't you deduce where my confidence lies in dealing with the enemies? Fang Yuan naturally knew that Lang Yalan's spirit's confidence was in the rank 8 Immortal Gu House Refinement Cauldron. But afterwards, he pretended to deduce and acted like he was met with difficulty. Eventually, he admitted his failure. I cannot deduce it, honestly speaking. In the past, I have tried to deduce Lang Ya Blessed Land, but I had no gains. Now is no exception. Ha ha ha. Lang Ya Land's spirit laughed loudly. He patted Fang Yuan's shoulder proudly, but did not say much. An immortal Gu House could attack and defend. So could the Rank 8 Refinement Cauldron. Defensive methods were not just against attacks, they could also defend against the deductions of others. 
Fang Yuan pretended to fail. This was within Lang Yalan's spirit's expectations. From his point of view, this was natural. No matter how outstanding Fang Yuan was, he only had rank 6 cultivation level. No matter how mystical his immortal Gu were, they could not match the rank 8 immortal Gu house, Refinement Cauldron. It is normal for me to fail in deducing it. If I succeed, it would cause Lang Yalan's spirit to become very wary. Fang Yuan smiled coldly internally. Land spirit were obsessed and pure, but that did not mean they were stupid. Especially when Lang Yalan spirit's original form was long hair ancestor. This legendary person had a good friend when he was alive, Immortal Yi Yan, a wisdom path Gu immortal that created the prophecy of three venerables. He was also a famous person throughout history. Thus, Lang Yalan spirit was clear about the capabilities of a wisdom path, Gu Immortal to a great extent. If Fang Yuan deduced something, it was evidently out of the scope of ability that a rank 6 Gu Immortal had. This would cause Lang Yalan spirit to become very wary and suspicious. He would think, how could Fang Yuan alone deduce anything? Evidently, he has someone behind him. And this great expert is very powerful. He can breach the defense of my refinement cauldron and deduce my arrangements in the blessed land. Once he thought of that, Lang Yalan spirit would be very vigilant. He would be on guard against Fang Yun. After all, Lang Yalan spirit was the obsession of Long Hair Ancestor. And Long Hair Ancestor was a hairy man. Towards humans and other variant humans, he had deep wariness. This could be shown from the transformation in personality and manner of speech in Lang Yalan spirit in Fang Yuan's previous life. The reason why Fang Yuan could get close to Lang Yalan spirit was mainly because he had obtained a certain inheritance of Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable. Because of his agreement with Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable, Lang Yalan spirit had to help Fang Yuan refine Gu three times. If not for that, how could Fang Yuan, as a human, get so close to Lang Yalan spirit. Even though Fang Yuan had to refine Star Thought Immortal Gu and All Out Effort Immortal Gu all along, he did not want to waste this final opportunity to refine Gu. That was because he wanted to remain close to Lang Yalan spirit. Lang Yalan spirit had lived countless years in this blessed land. His interactions with the outside world, other than the transactions inside Treasure Yellow Heaven, were limited to only Mo Tan Sang. He understood that great wealth would attract the greed of others, thus he had been keeping a low profile. At the same time, he had a natural form of distrust towards other individuals. Fang Yuan was not strong back then, thus Lang Yalan's spirit was not too wary or suspicious of him. But now that he was starting to show extraordinary abilities, Lang Yalan's spirit would naturally be alert and uneasy. How can an outsider be allowed to sleep beside his bed? In the past, Fang Yuan was a white rabbit. But the Fang Yuan who displayed Wisdom Path Grandmaster Attainment was considered a poisonous snake. Matters developed just like in his previous life. Fang Yuan was arranged to guard a cloud building by Lang Yalan spirit. But before that, Fang Yuan suggested that they should allow Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan to join the battle. Tai Bai Yun Sheng gave his assurance as well. But Lang Yalan's spirit rejected them. Fang Yuan used a different method to deal with Zhu Song Zai this time. He did not sneak attack Zhu Song Zai. Instead, he fought him openly. Even though it was a more impressive fight, the result was less of a victory. Fang Yuan only fought with Zhu Song Zai for a while before Shadow Sex reinforcements came and Fang Yuan took the initiative to retreat. There was no benefit in killing Zhu Song Zai. He had immortal Gu and lifespan Gu, but they could not be taken. He might as well let him go, so that he could deal with the central continent Gu immortals next. Fang Yuan had thought of reminding Lang Yalan spirit and making arrangements earlier, so that Refinement Cauldron could take down the group from Shadow Sect in advance. But after considering it thoroughly, Fang Yuan rejected this idea. First, there was a great risk in dealing with Shadow Sect. Qin Bai Sheng was very powerful. Fang Yuan had no confidence against him. 
Shadow Sect and Zombie Alliance also had some kind of secret connection. There was more than met the eye. Second, even if Shadow Sect was dealt with, Fang Yuan's gains would not be ideal. Refinement Cauldron would hold the biggest use. If they won, Lang Ya Land Spirit would gain most of the loot. Shadow Sex Base, Luo Po Valley, would end up in the hands of the Central Continent Gu Immortals. Fang Yuan would get nothing. Third, Fang Yuan needed the Northern Plains Shadow Sect members to resist the Central Continent Gu Immortals. Even though he did not know how the Central Continent Gu Immortals found Shadow Sect while investigating Fang Yuan. This was something he wanted to see. If Shadow Sect was eliminated, Central Continent would have no obstacles. If they found Fang Yuan, what would he do? Finally, Fang Yuan could guess that the mastermind behind the Battle of Yitian Mountain was Shadow Sect, because of the blazing glory lightning brilliance zombie. If they were killed, the influence would be huge. During the Battle of Yitian Mountain, unexpected mishaps would occur. With many mishaps, Fang Yuan's plans would be disrupted. His preparations would be in vain. Thus, Fang Yuan decided to go with the flow for the battle to defend Lang Ya Blust Land. Altering the result of this battle not only carried big risks, the disadvantages outweighed the advantages. A wise person would not do this. Chapter 980 Joining Lang Ya Sect Damn it, it had to be at this time, Kin Bai Sheng clenched his fists, looking at the battlefield in front of him. He was filled with discontent and reluctance. Retreat. A moment later, he sighed as he ordered. Why are we retreating? Fairy Zhang Yu was shocked. Liuo Po Valley is being attacked. It's the Central Continent Gu Immortals who are investigating the collapse of 88 True Yang Building. Kin Bai Sheng transmitted. How could their investigation lead to us? Unless, heaven's will. Fairy Zhang Yu's body shuddered. Heaven's will is vast and grand, that is likely the case, but our action earlier caused too much of a commotion. While making preparations for our ultimate plan, Heaven's will obstructed us. Later, on Yitian Mountain, I wonder how terrifying Heaven's will's obstruction will be. Kin Bai Sheng sighed. The two conversed at lightning speed, they transmitted their words to each other, no one else heard them. Soon, Kin Bai Sheng ordered the Shadow Sect members to retreat from Lang Ya Blessed Land. They have retreated. Tai Bai Yun Sheng let out a breath. Damn it, he escaped again. Hai Lu Lan clenched her fists, gritting her teeth. Fairy Lai Shan was silent. She was deeply frowning, her expression of worry. The hairy man Gu Immortals first cheered before feeling great sorrow. In this battle, they had made a bloody sacrifice and even found traitors. Life was hard to predict, with the sad state of life and death in front of them. These hairy man Gu immortals who normally only thought of refining Gu were greatly incited. Lang Ya Lan's spirit dismantled the ancient battle formation Heavenly Giant Solar. His eyes were bright red. He looked at the direction where Kin Bai Sheng and the others were leaving harshly. These people really think us hairy men are easy to bully. I will return today's humiliation with bloodshed one day in the future. In this battle, because Fang Yuan did not do much, it was quite similar to his previous life. First, Fang Yuan and the others defended the mortal Gu House Cloud buildings, but they were destroyed by Shadow Sect easily, breaking the Twelve Wave Cloud Confusion Formation. Once again, the Ink Man Gu Immortal was killed by Qin Bai Sheng rapidly, losing his life. Lang Ya Lan Spirit's plan to stall for time was severely disrupted. He had no way out and was pacing around anxiously. In his previous life, during this crucial moment, the Lan Spirit transformed. But now, during this period, Fang Yuan gave a suggestion and advised Lang Ya Lan Spirit to use an ancient battle formation. When Lang Yalan spirit was desperate and at his wit's end, he heard this suggestion and quickly used it. Ancient battle formations were quite different from the currently mainstream battlefield killer moves. The Dao marks in an ancient battle formation were much less harmful to the blessed land than battlefield killer moves. Lang Yalan spirit was desperate. He could only use heavenly giant solar. 
At this moment, Feng Yuan suggested again. Just the few of us, how can we resist them? We need more people. But Lang Yalan's spirit was hesitant. He had more than ten hairy man Gu immortals, but they were hidden and manipulating the rank eight immortal Gu house refinement cauldron. Especially when he somewhat sensed that there were traitors among them. Fang Yuan had anticipated Lang Yalan's spirit's response. He suggested that he had reliable aid. Lang Yalan's spirit frowned immediately. He was very wary of outsiders. The less people who knew about the blessed land, the better. Fang Yuan smiled and said, Land spirit, rest assured, how good is our relationship? I can definitely keep a secret for you. We will not expose any information regarding the blessed land. You just need to summon them directly into heavenly giant Solar and let them fight. Afterwards, give them appropriate remuneration. Lang Ya Land Spirit did not want to agree, but Kin Bai Sheng and the others were attacking more fiercely. Even though they used Heavenly Giant Solar, they were still losing slowly. Lang Ya Land Spirit had no choice. He could only accept Fang Yuan's suggestion. This way, Fang Yuan brought Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan into Heavenly Giant Solar and caused this ancient battle formation's power to rise. However, Hai Cheng controlled the immortal Gu House Dark Prison. He could resist Heavenly Giant Solar. Qin Bai Sheng's Five Finger Fist Heart Sword was extraordinarily sharp. It caused great harm to Heavenly Giant Solar. The situation was only suppressed for a moment before it turned bad again. Lang Yalan's spirit was forced to move the hairy man Gu Immortals in Refinement Cauldron into Heavenly Giant Solar in batches. In the intense battle, Lang Yalan's spirit's other self was finally summoned. After sending three batches, Qin Bai Sheng finally got a chance and had the traitors take action, starting to take away Refinement Cauldron. Eventually, he obtained many core immortal Gu from Refinement Cauldron and hurriedly retreated bringing Zhu Song's eye as well as the two exposed hairy man Gu immortal traitors. After the battle, Fang Yuan handed fixed immortal travel to Tai Bai Yun Sheng, asking him to bring Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan away, without staying. This way, he completed a part of the new alliance agreement that they had made earlier. He had provided a chance for Hai Lu Lan to kill Hai Cheng, but she did not grasp the opportunity. This did not mean that Fang Yuan failed on his side of the agreement. After the battle, Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan were very curious and suspicious towards this Lang Ya blessed land. But Fang Yuan did not answer them. The alliance agreement did not state that all information had to be shared openly. Since Fang Yuan knew everything now, why would he create problems for himself? Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan felt that Fang Yuan was shrouded in mystery and had a deep background. He could actually be related to such an incredible existence. They could not help but think, was this related to Fang Yuan's master Purple Mountain True Monarch? First, he borrowed Attitude Gu, then now, using Lang Ya Blessed Land, he dealt several blows towards the confidence of Hai Lu Lan's side. This made Fang Yuan very confident in dealing with Blazing Heaven Demoness. At the same time, he was slightly setting up for the future, where he might cooperate with Hai Lu Lan and the others to capture Lang Ya Blessed Land. If possible, Fang Yuan wanted to have sole possession over Lang Ya Blessed Land. But many times, ideas were beautiful, while reality was cruel. This was minor preparation for the future in case Fang Yuan needed it. Lang Ya Lan spirit turned into his second personality. Like in the previous life, he immediately decided to relocate Lang Ya Blessed Land after the battle. At the same time, he changed the social system in the Blessed Land and created Lang Ya Sect, inviting Fang Yuan to be an external supreme elder. Fang Yuan agreed. Speaking about the remuneration of joining this battle, Fang Yuan did not ask for the rank 6 immortal Gu recipe of all-out effort Gu. Instead, he sought a request for reinforcements from Lang Ya Lan spirit. In the future, if Fang Yuan got into a dangerous situation, Lang Ya sect would need to dispatch Gu immortals to save him. This way, Fang Yuan roped all of the Lang Ya blessed land hairy man Gu immortals onto his side. 
Lang Yalan's spirit handed Fang Yuan a sect mission, asking him to go deep into the icy plain and contact the super tribes that the rockmen and snowmen who were deep underground had created. As long as you complete this mission, I will release some immortal goo recipes to you. As long as you have enough sect contributions, you can use the points to exchange for the immortal goo recipes that you want. Lang Yalan's spirit tempted Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan's thoughts shifted. Can I take a look at these immortal goo recipes first? Of course. After seeing them, even with Fang Yuan's broad knowledge and experiences, he was tempted. Lang Ya Blessed Land had dozens of immortal goo, but the quantity of immortal goo recipes was something even Fang Yuan couldn't expect. At the very least, Lang Ya Land spirit gave Fang Yuan more than 200 recipes to view. Fang Yuan quickly saw some immortal goo recipes that suited him. He asked, Can I choose other missions? But Lang Ya Land spirit rejected him. My Lang Ya sect has just been established. There are many things waiting to be done, of course many missions are available. But this mission is the most dangerous, thus it is given to you. If you die, so be it, I will not feel any heartache. The hairy man goo immortals cannot die so easily, they are one of our true members. Lang Ya Lan spirit only spoke the truth, Fang Yuan did not know whether to laugh or cry, but he feel at ease internally. But don't you worry, I aim to create an era of hairy men, the assistance of you and other species are needed. I have a transformation path method to turn your human body into a hairy man. When you become a true hairy man, I will open up the immortal goo storage and allow you to exchange for immortal goo or borrow immortal goo using contribution points. Ha ha ha. Lang Ya Lan's spirit patted Fang Yuan's shoulder, encouraging him. This encouragement was extremely straightforward. But Fang Yuan did not care. The first question he had considered was whether he could use familiar face to turn into a hairy man and deceive Lang Yalan spirit. But soon, he gave up on that idea. Not only was the familiar face that he had now an incomplete copy, the original familiar face came from Lang Yalan spirit himself. Even though he was straightforward, he was not stupid. As for turning into a real hairy man, I will not consider it. Humans are the true masters of this world. It has been like this since the remote antiquity era. This is the direction the world is going. How can it be easily turned around? Back then, even long hair ancestor had to hide and conceal his own identity. Right now, he is only a land spirit. What can he accomplish? HMPH, simply wishful thinking. Fang Yuan did not think well of Lang Ya Sect's prospects. In the 500 years of his previous life, Lang Ya Sect was taken down by Heavenly Court. This was the eventual outcome of Lang Ya Blessed Land. Even if the future changes, and it is not Heavenly Court, it could also be other Gu Immortal forces. Humans were the rulers, the status of variant humans would not change. Fang Yuan's plan, from start to finish, was to extract benefits from Lang Ya Lan spirit. Lang Ya Lan spirit turning into his second personality carried greater benefits for Fang Yuan than losses. At least right now, for Fang Yuan, there were greater gains. The original Lang Ya Lan spirit was conservative. He would not create Lang Ya sect or invite Fang Yuan to be an external supreme elder. He would also not agree to assist Fang Yuan when he was in danger. After the battle to defend Lang Ya Blessed Land ended, the Hundred Days battle in Luo Po Valley commenced gradually. Fang Yuan returned to Hu Immortal Blessed Land, resting as he created a large number of Dream Path Mortal Goo. At the same time, he amassed a huge amount of Goo Refinement Immortal Materials to make preparations for refining Immortal Goo. A month later, he collected all of the Spring Dream Fruits, refining a large number of Dream Path Mortal Goo. The number was higher than in his previous life. Two months later, Tai Bai Yun Sheng had settled the relationships on the other side as Fang Yuan used the Earth Tide as an opportunity to enter Eastern Sea.